High school install showers for homeless students. Homelessness has always been one big problem of America's society. When Utah High School decided to take a new approach in dealing with the problem of chronic homelessness in its student body, they are installing facilities for homeless to help them stay clean, even when they can't stay off the streets. While most kids take clean clothes and a shower for granted, others who may be living in a temporary shelter or worse such things are luxuries. But East High School in Salt Lake City, Utah has taken on a new role, beyond educators and babysitters. Installing showers and a laundry room, they've added another mission to help students within their care who may be without a home. The school administrators say that they have between 50 and 100 students who lack daily access to a shower or clean clothes. One student, Emily Beats, says a lot of them don't have them in their own homes, and a lot of them are afraid to ask like their friends or someone else. Beats continued, we have a washing machine and dryer for our costumes, but they're always very sneaky, and they come in during a Saturday rehearsal and hide down in the shop and do it while everyone is up rehearsing. The school's principal, Greg Mogan, believes these students should not have to hide in the corners. He thinks all his students have a right to basic hygiene, reports American Web Media. I don't want to go to work if I don't have clean clothes, I don't want to go to work if I wasn't able to shower," Mogan said. With that attitude, he's come up with the idea to install two new washrooms with showers and laundry facilities just for these students. It's to feel like they fit in, to feel like they are part of something and they don't stand out," Mogan said. And the more likely they are to attend, the more likely they are to succeed in class, to graduate and to move on to college and a career. The school has made a special effort to help the underserved children who attend school here, having volunteers show up every day to stock a food pantry with donations from the community. One volunteer, Carol Lear, says, when my children were at East, the socioeconomic makeup of the school was completely different. A lot of credit goes to the administration and to the community who said this is something we need let's get it started. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter scroll down for more. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe 24 hours channel. Goodbye and see you again.